Hi everyone, so this is going to be my Project 10 Pan video. Um, well, it's actually more than Project 10 Pan. It's kind of like more like Project X Pan. Because um, I actually have not counted how many products this is, but I know it's way over 10. Um, anyway, so the reason I'm doing this is because I want to empty out my makeup collection. And what I mean like that is I'm not doing Project Pan for the reason most beauty people on YouTube do it. Normally they do it to get rid of old products so that way they can make room to buy new products. Me, I'm doing this to use up, to encourage me to wear makeup every day, to use up my makeup collection because I want to, currently my makeup collection is one, two, three, four, five drawers. Um, if you watch my makeup collection, you'll see how big my makeup collection is. I have the ten drawer black thing, um, the cart thing, and it's currently five drawers. I want to get it, my makeup collection down to one drawer and the reason I want that is because I don't wear makeup every day so there's no point in me having a big collection because it's not getting used up. And if you hear crunching over here that is Molly chewing on her bone that I gave her to keep her quiet throughout this video. Let's start off with the non makeup -y products. So in here first um, you may notice I have a ton of hand sanitizers. Um, they're the Bath and Body Works pocket hand sanitizers. I have a ton of these and I don't use them. Um, I just, I prefer to wash my hands. I just want to use all of these up. So I have two pumpkin, sweet pump, sweet cinnamon pumpkin. These are from Halloween. Um, the next one I have, this is from like a year ago. It's the Twisted Peppermint. Um, you can see I've used this like twice. Uh, this one is the Vixen's Sweet Mint. This is from last Christmas. Not this past Christmas, Christmas before that in 2010. Um, and you can see, it's not even used. Um, another one is this Comet's Ginger Mint. I've been trying to use this one up. I'm about halfway down to it. So This one is Santa's Mellow Mint. Um, and about that much left. This one, these three are from the I Love collection. This one's I Love Bling. Um, about that much, pretty much full bottle. This one is I Love Boys. This one smells really, really good. Um, I just, this one's I Love Shoes. And I don't really like the scent of this one. This one's Stylish Strawberry. I'm not a fan of it. Um, next are three Bath and Body Works lotions. Literally, guys, you're just gonna laugh at me. I've had these for over a year, and you'll see how far I've gotten with them. Uh, this one is the Warm Vanilla Sugar. This is the three ounce one, by the way, and I've only gotten that far. This one is the Country Chic one. I've been using this in my past two showers. I'm down right here. This is a two ounce bottle. So, the other two ounce one, and this is the Secret Wonderland. Um, this one smells really good. They all smell really good. It's just that they're old, and I just I don't like using lotion. Um, but that one's right there. If you guys know of any lotions that like sink in fast, please let me know because then I would use lotion. It's just that I hate waiting for it. I'm a very impatient person. Um, this one is. Again, from Christmas 2010, um, this is the Sweet Pink Frosting. I'm down to uh, about right there. So This is the Secret Wonderland Body Mist. This is the 3 ounce. I'm about halfway done with it. You want to say hi? Say hi. We could play in a few minutes. Hang on. Suave Professionals Dry Shampoo Spray. Uh, you guys know I bought one of these already, and it lasts like two uses and then it was done. This one I've used twice already and it's like down to here. Uh, the So Desirable Body Mist down to like right here. Um, or so. Yeah, it's pretty much almost empty. Um, and this was from like Big Lots or something. This is this Yes to Cucumbers Body Butter. I love this stuff. This is the only lotion that sinks into my skin really fast and I think after I'm done with all my crappy lotions I'm gonna buy the full size of this one even though it's like 14 bucks but it's like huge. Uh, this is just a sample size of it um, as you can see I'm just pretty much scraping the size of it. Now on to makeup products. There's a lot of them. I don't know. I don't know how that was a bad move. I don't know if you can really see it. Probably not. But um, the first thing is my Rimmel London Clean Finish Foundation. Molly is licking the camera, so I'm so sorry if it's shaking. Molly! Anyway, so this is the 
220 Ivory. I have been using this for like six months now. The Aroma London Fix and Perfect Foundation Primer. You're supposed to only have this for 18 months. I haven't had it that long. I've had it for like 12 months. So, um, I just need to use it up. I'm about down to, well, now that it's not going down it. I'm about down right there. There's a bunch of air in the packaging though, so it's not bending right. But yeah, so... I just, I want to get this used up. This is the EOS lip balm. Um, you can see it's pretty much flattened. Well, it is flattened. It's like getting hard to use now. I'm not going to have to start using a lip brush. But I just want to use this up and get rid of it because it's old. Next is the Blistex Complete Moisture. I am so sorry about her. She'll get used to it eventually. Um, but turning it up, that's as far as I have left. So hopefully I can get rid of this fast. Next is the Soft Lips in strawberry. I have that far to go, so hopefully this will be done soon. I swear she is chewing on everything in sight. She named you Chewy. Um, next is the, where to go? This lip balm that she was chewing on before. It's the, um, uh, Evian Kiss of Smoothest or whatever. Um, got that much left. I've been working on this one. So hopefully these will be gone soon. Um, Molly the Elf. Uh, complexion perfection. It was um, but it looks like this. I've hit pan on it pretty big. Um, I just want to use this up. Literally, the more I use it, the more loosely packed it gets, and the powder it just explodes everywhere. Next is the translucent mattifying powder. You can see I'm pretty much done with this. I'm just got this little corner right here and down here. Uh, I can't even get it with a brush anymore. I don't know. I think I'm just gonna toss it or like scrape it out. I just use it for concealer, um, for setting my concealer underneath or something like that, but, I don't know, I might just call it dead and throw it, um, toss it. Next is the Complete Coverage Concealer Palette. I've hit pan on this one, right there, I don't know if you can see, it's right there. Um, I just hit a tiny little pan on it. So I just want to use up this color, and then I'm just going to toss it, because the other ones don't match my skin tone. I used to use this one too, but... I just realized it's it's not working for my skin tone. Um, Wet n Wild Sleek Finish Blush. I use this as a highlighter. My mom gave this to me like two years ago, and she already hit pan on it when she gave it to me, so I really haven't made a dent in it except for like right here a little bit. Um, but I just want to use up a little bit more of this. I don't want to completely finish it up. I just want to use a little bit more of it, and then I'm going to toss it, or I might just toss it now. Maybelline. Blush. This is a limited edition one in nude flush. It was one of the ones with the M lettering on it. Um, and I've hit pan on this. It it sucks. Literally, I'm not even gonna lie. I was obsessed with this blush when I first got it, and it was super pigmented. And then, like after I hit the top layer, like after I was done with the top layer, it was like it was a completely different blush. Like there was no pigmentation to it whatsoever. Coverable blushes. Um, these, I'm calling it. It's just, I can't deal with them. Um, you may notice, you're like, probably thinking to yourself, why are you calling them dead? They're brand new. Yes, they are brand new. I've only swatched them. But, you can see here, you can see I am swatching it. Look it. A little tiny tint of color comes off in your finger. Nothing comes off on my hand but a bunch of glitter. Nothing. You can see, scrubbing at this one. Nothing. It's like they're invisible. So, thank God I didn't pay for these. I got them free with coupon. Um, so, I, I'm just calling it, I'm chucking them. They're bye bye, we'll see ya. Um, next is this Wet n Wild Mega Eyes Trio. I finally, guys. You know how long I've been working at trying to hit pan at this. Um, I finally, finally hit pan on this middle color right here. I just want to use up this color and then I'm tossing it. Elf Studio Single Eyeshadow in Wild Wheat. As you can see, I've finally hit pan on this. I just want to use this up. I use this every single time I wear makeup and it's just getting nowhere with it. I mean, I finally hit pan on it, but it's like... It's a never-ending product. Like, it, you use it and it just, like, reappears or something. I don't know why it's not going away. This is a e.l.f. dollar quad in pre and pink. I just want to use up this dark pink color right here. This e.l.f. eyeliner and shadow stick in pearl glow. 
uh, Glow is the eyeshadow stick on this left. I don't know if I'm going to continue using this or not because I've been using it and literally there's something wrong with my eye because my eyelid, this eye, it's all red and my eye is like bloodshot so I don't know if it's from the dryness of this from like scraping it along my eyelid or what. Like it's a pretty white base but I have plenty of other white bases. I have my whole NYX pot thing to use up so I think I'm just going to call that side but I do want to use up this pearl um, eyeliner there's really not that much left the elf eyeliner dollar one in pearl this is again another white looks exactly like the other white one I'm just trying to use it up and get rid of it a elf brightening eyeliner in coffee uh, this came with a palette it's absolute crap I mean it is so rough on your eye and it's just, it doesn't stay on long. This is, these, is this Elf Dollar Eyelid Primer. I've had this for like a year. I don't like it. I mean, it is so racy. I used to love the old formula, the one that was in like the um, matte packaging. But this one in the glossy packaging, I just don't like it. It is so oily. It reminds me of the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer because it is just so greasy and just, ooh. This is this Maybelline Cool Effects Cream Eyeshadow in Peach. It just looks like that. This is pretty much full. I've used it like twice. I just want to get rid of it. This is uh, Elf Wet Gloss Brow and Clear Mascara. I just want to use up this side. As you can see, I only have like that much left. I want to finish up this side. This side is brand new. I haven't even opened it yet. Um, next is this Maybelline Great Lash. <coughs> You may notice this is not the top for it. The top that the Maybelline Great Lash comes with is green. This is a Maybelline Colosso top. Um, you can see, or you can hear, there's a ton of products left in this, but I'm tossing it. Um, as I said, I've been having problems with my eyes, and the only two products I can think of that would be doing it is that eyeshadow thing and this, because I didn't have problems with it until I started using these, um, these two products. Next is this Maybelline Falsies Mascara. You guys are going to yell at me for this. I know so many of you love, love, love this mascara. I tried it out. I hate it. I absolutely hate it. Um, and I think the reason why I don't like it is, again, the brush. Um, everyone was saying this brush is so awesome. You know, it's, it's scooped. It's like a little spoon. I don't like it. I prefer my really basic mascara ones like the Colossal. That's the type of wand I like. I don't like these weird wacko wands. I mean, it, it's cool that it's flexible and everything, um, but I just, I don't like it. And this is brand new. I've um, actually only worn this once since I've opened it. Um, and, uh, the CO Bigelow Frosty Lip Gloss, I hate it. It just, I love minty lip glosses and lipsticks and everything like that, but this is overkill. One is a Sally's Girl little lip gloss thingy. You can see how small it is. Uh, this is in 388383. Uh, this is a Sally's Girl little lipstick. It's like a pinkish, corally color. It's super, super tiny, as you can see, compared to my hand. Um, I just, I don't use it. I, I don't know why, I just, I don't use it. Uh, Revlon Lip Gloss in Power Off Pink. This is limited edition from October 2010, so it's pretty old. These two little e.l.f. lip glosses, they came in a set last April, April 2011. Um, Maybelline Super Stay Gloss. I'm pretty much going to throw this one away. I've had it for like three years now. It's time it goes. Um, this is a Sally Molly. Stop. She is such a camera hog. Uh, this is a, what is this called? Lipnotic Gem Lip Gloss by uh, Sally Hansen. Beautiful packaging. Really pretty. Uh, you could see... That entire side is empty. And this is a Elf Luscious Liquid Lipstick. This is in Ruby Slipper. This is a Elf Dollar Lipstick in Classy. That's what's left of it. Elf Studio Lipstick. Or not Studio. One of their $5 lipsticks. Looks like that. This had melted in the car, so that was the only way to save it. All of my Project Pan stuff. Um, 